Let's have a look at the term cost object. So what is a cost object? Now cost object is one of the terms in management accounting that's vitally important for your understanding of further topics, but it's easily overlooked. So a cost object is simply something that you're trying to cost or something that you're trying to calculate the cost of. So in our table making company, a table could be a cost object. So then we're trying to calculate what the cost of one table is. Now, if Layla also started making chairs, so she's getting good at, at making the table, so she expanded to making chairs. Now, obviously, one chair could be a cost object, so then we're trying to calculate the cost of one chair. Now, we could also say, well, the product line, so tables, that's one of the product lines, and then there's chairs. So we can calculate the cost of the total chair product line. So all the chairs made in a specific period, that could be a cost object. So obviously that would be, um, that would take up more costs than only one chair, but it could still be a cost object. Um, then a cost object could also be a division. So the woodwork division and maybe if she makes stuff with steel so the woodwork division could be a cost object so all the costs that went into the woodwork division for a specific period or it could even be something like a customer order so someone places an order for a custom designed wooden bed and that customer order then is the cost object so which costs do uh, did it take us or did we expend in order to make or fulfill that customer order so let's you look at a different example that's maybe a bit, um, explain it a little bit better. So let's think of a bus service. Uh, this is my best attempt at a bus. And it's uh, driving between point A and B. There's lots of passengers on the bus. And when you buy a ticket, to get on the bus, that ticket or the passenger could be a cost object. So let's call this passenger A. That could be a cost object for the bus company. So how much did it cost us to, to, to uh, get passenger A from point A to B? Or the whole bus ride, say the 5 a.m. bus ride from A to B, that could be a cost object. So obviously more costs would be taken into account to cost the bus ride from A to B than to just cost passenger A that is on the bus. So whenever you do a question or deal with costs in a question, look out for the cost object and what they define as the cost object.